What's poppin' YouTube? Hope you're all having a great day. Now today's video, man, like I usually say, man, these first few videos, man, are just gonna be trying to help y'all know who you subscribing to, man. So later on down the line, man, if I ever do a like question, quiz, or everything, give away something, man, y'all know as much as possible, man. So today I'm gonna be doing a little QA again. I don't really know what it's called, but you know the thing where you do the plank, go up to the push-up, plank, go back up to the push-up. That thing, I'm gonna be doing that as long as I can, basically. And as many questions as I get out, man, that's as long as I'm going to be doing it, man. All my arms and chest is not that strong, man. So, and as you all know, man, I don't have abs like that. But, 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 the abs is coming, man. The abs is coming. But, yeah, I'm just going to be doing a little Q&A, man. As long as I can keep doing this. <sighs> I'm tired already. I just try to do a another channel without camera being on or whatever. So, I'm kind of a little tired already. But, yeah, I'm going to be doing this Q&A, man. Let's go and get ready to it. Oh man. So right before I get right into it, man, I want to make sure I hit that like button, man. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Like button. Comment down more challenges down below. And hit that big red subscribe button, man, because I know you see it. Man, all right, so let's go and get right into this QA. Let's do it. All right, man, we're going to get into it, man. Okay. All right. So the first question is well, really, the first question I even want to answer, man, is what even got me into working out? So when I was younger, bro, just to be quick because this thing's actually kind of starting to hurt already. Woo! Hold on. All right. Okay. First, first thing, man, is when I was younger, bro, my dad was really abusive. All right. So I used to, even from when I was, when I was like little, little, man, um, he used to like beat on us or whatever. All of us, me, my brother Quez, John Quez, Kanaya, all of us. He used to beat on us. And so, it got to a point. I wanted to be able to defend myself. So I got into working out, man, so he couldn't be able to, you know what I'm saying, beat on me anymore. Okay. Okay. All right, that's first question. Most embarrassing moment. Oh, man, this hurts already. All right, hold on. Oh, okay. I want to at least do six minutes. Or whatever, however many questions I get out in six minutes, that's it. Oh man, this hurt. Okay. Alright. Whew, alright. Most embarrassing moment. I I've had a couple of embarrassing moments, man. But the most recent one I can think of. Well, if you've seen the virginity time story, man, that was a that was really embarrassing. But uh, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, have you seen the virginity story, Matt, that I did? If you watched that, bro, that was really embarrassing. Uh, I mean, but at the same time, man, she's actually really chill. So it wasn't really a big problem that we had. But yeah, that probably was the most embarrassing one. But besides that, I would say, um, besides that, I would say, I actually, okay, bumped that. I did. I was at the. I was at the basketball court one day, right? And I had. I was trying to like finish the game before I had to go because my stomach started bubbling. And you know when your stomach started bubbling, but you at the court and you really wanted to finish the game or whatever, man. You like, all right, we just got a few more points to go. Yeah. I went up thinking I was gonna dunk. Nah, I tried to go up and dunk, man, and I went up off the ground. As soon as I hit the ground again, man, a whole stomach just dropped. Everything that was in my stomach went straight to my butt, man. And who it was not. It wasn't pretty, man. I was like, okay. All right, man. Somebody come pick up for me. Pick up for me. Hey, play for me. Play for me. And anybody seen the way I was running away from that court? Everybody already knew it was up, man. Hey, yeah. He, he got to go. He got to go. Use the bathroom or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. It didn't, it didn't really go too good, man. Because I had to go. Let me keep on going. Let me keep going. I, I if you want more in depth on that, it's not really... Too much to really go in depth about with that, man. Uh, oh, man. Whew. All right. Keep going. All right. What do you, who do you look up to the most? And what qualities do you love about that person? All right. I mean, there's a couple people I look up to, but as far as like, where I want to be in life, I'm going to say Dwayne Johnson. Oh, man, that hurts. I'm going to say Dwayne Johnson. Why? For one, 
he got the body I want. He got the, as far as like chest, arms or whatever. Yeah, I want that. I'm gonna get the one day. I'm gonna get the one day because the abs is coming. That, and then the way he done did his whole career, man, he really like one of the biggest influential people and in, you know, they play in the whole world. So yeah, and then as far as like where he came from, man, it's really like my beginnings and stuff, like in a few years or whatever, if you knew. In a few years, when you looking back, you like, oh, this was supposed to three years ago or whatever. If you're watching this now, you know what I'm saying? This is obviously new to you. But, oh, man, if you're watching this in a few years or whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? This is my beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because in a few years, I'm going to be a big dog. All right. What would be your perfect day? Plan it out from waking up to bedtime. Eating good breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Get a video up. Go play some basketball. Um, or play the game. Play the game. I really don't play the game like that no more, though, man. Um, I'm watch some Fast and Furious. Gotta watch some Fast and Furious. Um, I don't really have friends. I don't fool with nobody for real. Uh, kick it. You know what I'm saying? Just chill by myself. Um, it's not really much. I mean, I'm pretty simple, man. That's really a perfect day for me. <sighs> a video went up, so that means I must have did something right. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the perfect day. Biggest fear. All right. Let me get back to doing this. Five minutes. Okay. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is heights. I hate heights. I don't like heights. Anything about them. I remember one time I was doing. I went on the elevator, man. I thought my ears went out, man. But it was just my ears had to pop. Yeah, I thought I lost my hearing going up in that elevator. I kind of was overreacting. And my first time riding a plane, yeah, that was, whew, that was terrible. But yeah, heights. Heights is the problem. I hate heights. How do you like to be comforted when you're sad or upset? I really don't like to talk to nobody, man. If anything, man, I'm going to sit by myself and I'm going to watch some Fast and Furious or whatever. I'm a big Fast and Furious fan or whatever. Probably, probably, yeah, you don't know already. But, yeah, Fast and Furious is a big thing for me, man. Oh, man. My all-time favorite memory. I don't even know, man. I got so... Oh, okay. 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 Say, uh, the time I went to South Carolina, we went to Myrtle Beach. I mean, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? We don't really go too many places or whatever, you know, right now. Cause, you know, we ain't got money like that yet. Yeah, ain't got money like that yet. Um, So when we got to go to Myrtle Beach or whatever and actually see real waves and stuff, I really sat there for like 30, 40 minutes, really just sitting there looking at the waves. And then I tried to go out in the water. But then my folks started tripping, they like, nah, man, come back, come back, come back, blah, blah, blah. Because they paranoid, you know what I'm saying? They paranoid, nah, man, the wave will suck you out, blah, 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 this and that. But, yeah, okay. What's your favorite thing you own and why? Um, I'm going to say my favorite thing I own is a Xbox. Xbox is my favorite, man, because whenever, I can really do computer stuff on there. And I can play a game when I want to, man. That's kind of really the only way I even talk to people, man. Is if my friends want to get online or whatever. Or if I, you know, talk to some random folks in the game. I can talk so much junk on the game. And I ain't never got to worry about nobody bothering me about it. <sighs> oh, man. I'm going to do three more questions. And I'm done, man. I'm starting to hurt. <sighs> Who was the last person to make you cry and why? Nobody made me cry. Uh, well, I'm not going to say that. Uh, Okay, yeah, that was, that was, no, that was a lie. Um, last person made me cry. It was a situation that made me cry. But I ain't cried in like four, five years. But it was just a situation that happened with me and some some people or whatever. And it, it pissed me off because it was disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew you. We were supposed to be cool. And, or at least I thought we was cool. And, you know what I'm saying? Did me dirty. And... It wasn't really like a boo-hoo crime, but you know what I'm saying? Some tears fell, so I'm considering that crime because I can't really think of anything that really made me cry cry. So All right. oh, okay. If money wasn't an object, what would I buy? I would buy Oh my gosh, what my I would buy probably two hundred acres of land and stuff, get some buildings put on them. I'm not gonna say what building because that's coming in the future. 
gonna look back at this video in a few years and y'all gonna be clipping this or whatever and like yup he did it um 200 acres we have some buildings on it and it's gonna be for my business and stuff that i'm gonna have jumping in a few years okay all right two more questions and i'm done two more questions okay when have you felt the most proud I felt the most proud when I graduated high school, man. I really didn't even feel like I graduated, bro, because I didn't even get to touch my um high school diploma because I graduated in 2020 or whatever. And we had to do all our stuff virtual. I didn't go to graduation. I didn't go to prom. I didn't really spend none of that, you know, to walk around the school. I didn't do none of that. So, I mean, but even seeing my name, you know, going across the um thing or whatever and seeing my picture, you know what I'm saying, not having to go back to high school. Yeah, I was very proud that day. <sighs> okay. When have you felt the most challenged? Oh my God, bro, my stomach is killing me, but my arms, is, my arms is dead. All right. Oh, when have you felt the most challenged? I tried working with my dad last year, man, and if you don't know, me and my dad do not have a really good relationship, man, because he was not there. I've lived a very stereotypical life as far as, you know, dad involved, you know, I'm black dad, you know, the, the stereotype a lot of y'all, you know, go with right now, yeah, that was pretty much my life with him. Yeah, I wasn't there, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, having to work with him, his attitude, man, is horrible, bro. I remember it was one time, I think it was like the last day. Okay, forget this, man, I'm done with this. The last day, the last day I tried to work with him, bro, and I didn't go back, is, we, it's, he does concrete or whatever, right? And he had these stamps, like, you know, stamping on concrete or whatever, right? And I was like, all right, so he told me to go get a stamp. A stamp is basically like, if you see designs and concrete and stuff, that's from a stamp, okay? And I was like, okay, I'm going to go get the stamp or whatever so we can finish doing the um, design on the concrete and stuff before we put the color on it. And we go and I do that, man. I grab a stamp, and the stamp was already kind of ripped up because I don't really know what it's called. Maybe rubber, I guess. And it was already kind of ripped up, so I went to try and get it, and I didn't want to hear his mouth already. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep it both together, man, because he already has a bad attitude. Everybody knows it. And I try to go and get the stamp to give to him, and it starts ripping. I'm like, no, 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 please don't rip, please don't rip. And so I go and try to grab a stamp or whatever, and I'm pulling, and it ends up ripping. So I'm like, dang, now I gotta hear his mouth about this. And so I try and help him go, and this man gonna go and yell at me, Quint, come on, not Quint, come on, come on. I'm like, what you mean? I'm trying to bring this stuff to you. You the one that told me to go get this. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to hear your mouth by trying to be as safe as possible with this stuff, man. So this thing does not keep ripping. It already on rip, so I. I'm, I'm already like, damn, I'm gonna have to hear about this, man. You getting mad at me because I'm trying to make sure your stuff don't rip. And so then his friend, his friend's sitting there telling him, like, chill out, man, chill out. It ain't even that serious. And he's always like, nah, man, it ain't that serious, man. You seen the take forever, blah, 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 blah. I was gone for like 20 seconds. I was gone for like 20 seconds, man, going to get the stuff. You weren't going to get it? Like, come on now, man. And, and it was tripping. I had to go up a hill or whatever. And well, I had to go down the hill to go get the stuff around the house and then got, grab the arm stuff and come back around or whatever, go up the hill. And bring it. I was already tired, man. Cause that's that's matter of fact. That's a whole other story I could tell y'all about, man. How jacked up he is. But yeah, man, I'm done with that chunk. But that thing hurt, man. Whew, but that thing hurt. All right. Okay. So if you enjoy the video, man, because it really, I really wasn't doing too. I try, I try to do the working out, man. But my my abs and my my shoulders is killing me. But if you enjoy the video, man, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, some more challenges or story time. Story time is up on Wednesday if you want to see a story. I'm working out on Monday, man. So if y'all don't see no stories, man, ain't no video going up on um, Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so, oh man. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, man. Hit that big red subscribe button, man. I know you see it. And that's all for this video, man. Oh.